What is going on YouTube? Brave Dave here, and we are in the 18th episode of our Geats campaign. If you recall in the last episode, we were able to push back some rebels that were here in uh, Galatia. Carinium was sacked by uh, the Franks here, so they're just moving through my land, pissing me off. Camelodunum is still uh, amongst the Franks and the Abdanis, Abdanians. And Eblana was finally sacked by Celtic rebels. So we're not doing so hot food wise, but our income is actually okay. Nothing too concerning there. I might actually try raising a uh, slightly larger army here in uh, London. Uh, let's go ahead and add a another Norse Berserker there, as well as a couple of Skirmishers and another Levy. So that'll be the next two turns. Uh, so it'll give us some holding power with the Levy, some killing power with these Berserkers who are freaking beasts, I must say, as well as you know some hard killing power with these. Skirmishers there if we could get them in the right position. Alright, can we upgrade London? What are we doing here? Okay, I definitely don't want to upgrade that because it will jump us up to negative 70 food, which we could survive because I believe it's another uh, like 40, but I don't want to put our food into that situation. Come over here. Heaven Holt. Again, I don't want to put our food to chance right now. And all of these require food. Alright, so let's take the battle reports and such. Faction destroyed Caledonians, I remember that. Carinium sacked. Foreign trespassers. Magyars trespassing in Asterica. Alright, so be wary of their... Of their dealing. Mayor, what? Okay. Alright, cool. So we'll go ahead and end the turn after we upgrade this gentleman. Alright, so he is the general. So we'll give him plus two zeal and plus six melee attack with wolf level two, as well as infantry commander level one, which gives a plus three melee defense to commanded units. And we may assign a provincial governor. To where? Galicia. Okay. That's cool. So, none of these guys can be the governor. So, let's go ahead and put a Fandral, probably, because he is a merchant. So, plus 10 wealth from commercial buildings while be governed. So, we'll go ahead and put him there. And we can assign an edict in Galicia. Uh, probably a public order one. Because we, I think we still have the immigrant penalty there. So definitely want to, you know, try turning around public order. Yeah, Frank's doing a lot of damage to me, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully the other Viking factions are at war with them and can help defend me if I need if I need them. Ah, uh, I can't talk today. My nose is filled, so just coming out sounding weird to me. Alright. Cool, the Abdanians are pushed back. They want to take Crinium. I have no possibility of protecting myself so we'll go ahead and do that if they take the settlement that's okay if they just sack it and move on so be it and it looks like the Abdanians are at war with the other Viking factions because the second they moved into that territory they were pretty much destroyed
Alrighty. Cranium sacked. Hydric. Alright, so they completed their terms. Due to the closeness of our borders and the peace between us, relations with this neighbor have begun to improve. Hispania plus 10. Didn't I destroy Hispania? Weird. Alright, Magyars, what was our relations with you again? You do not like me. Alright. For the tribe. We may have to start raising a larger force to protect ourselves. Do, 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 do. Are you ready to we'll go throw a couple of Nordic tribe. Brigade in there. Come fight for us, lads. And also because they're somewhat cheap. All right, so we could handle one minus one uh, to squalor, but none of the buildings there provide it. All right, so farmstead. I need more food. So, which one? I think pastures is always the best bet. It gives us pretty good wealth from animal husbandry, as well as other sources, as well as a plus forty food to begin with, and plus twenty four additional food. Yada yada yada. We'll go with pastures. And what is this last one? I'll figure that out next time. I want to keep as much money as I can for troops. And I'm contemplating. We'll throw a couple more levy into that army. And I'm contemplating if they want to stick there. Yeah, we're being raided too. If they want to stick there raiding us, I'm going to bring this army to support and we'll take out that the drifters on the next turn or so. Alright. I think that army should hold if they are attacked by either of the Abdani armies. Actually... We're going to go take out this Abdanian army. Uh, that is their faction leader, so that should be a pretty big blow if they lose him. So, if they want to be on my land, they're going to go down. And they have pretty depleted units, so I think we should be A-OK -okay with taking them, taking them down. Even though they do have some chevrons there. Hail Caesar, those who are about to die salute you, said the gladiators before combat. Alright, let's see if we can get a dry day here. There we go, so we can actually see what we are doing. Usual formation, let's go ahead and start with the line of spears. I want to try getting these Norse Berserkers into combat this time around. Because I think they can beast it out. Whoops. Let's move this line back. I want to get the front line as my skirmishers. Alright. And my general on the other side. Let's start the battle, friends. And let's walk up so we don't tire our troops and fast forward we will crush the enemy with our greater numbers they're probably camping up here somewhere
I could not imagine being up north in, you know, Scotland and such, or, you know, coming from the where the Norse factions do, where the Geats come from, and wearing no shirt. They are berserk, I must say that. Still no side of the enemy. I'll keep fast forwarding. Maybe once we crest this hill. Let's actually keep walking. Don't want to tire my guys. All right. So we'll stop here. They have the heal advantage in their favor. But we'll start firing upon them. Right, move the missiles back. Get my Norse Berserkers on the side here. I actually want to get these guys into the general since they have rapid advance. That way we can catch him and destroy him. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're just chilling there. Alright, we'll put them in frenzy as well. See the devs. Oh, those are axes. That's cool. I thought that's cool, so yeah, instead of, you know, a javelin they throw beforehand, they throw an axe at them, and then charge straight in. <laughs> that's all funny, they're like all slumping around, like they're depressed. Attack them, guys. Get rid of those last few guys. All right. The general is dead. A lethal blow. Deadly missiles ready. All right, go chase them now. You chase them, or chase them. You chase them. Make sure we destroy everyone so they don't come back. Definitely want to try to get. Uh, the Nordic Band should be fine. The bow should be gone. Yeah, we definitely want to catch these guys, just in case nine is too many. Alright, they might get away, so we'll see what that does to us. Hopefully that destroys all of them so that they can't raise another army against us. So we have a decisive victory, which we knew we were going to have. Lost 50, but we did a pretty, pretty good job. Really like those Norse Berserkers. They totally decimated the General's unit. Alright, we got rid of that army. We killed the faction leader. We'll go ahead and kill the captives. We have plenty of troops still. Bradai is deceased. Rank 6. That's a pretty big guy to get rid of. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and get back to London. Let's see. We can upgrade our general here. Some household items. Sherry's is plus 5%. Armor for the commander's unit. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll go ahead with equipment contract, which is minus 10% for mercenary unit recruitment cost. And we'll go with artists, which is plus 5 public order for the local province. We'll give him Fearless Warrior, which will give us plus two zeal. And Wolf level one, which is plus one zeal and plus three melee attack. So this general will have a ton of zeal, which works for me. All right, let's first come out over here and attack these rebels immediately. Uh, it gives them poor, poor chances. Uh, probably better than I would do so we'll go ahead and auto resolve that we want to get rid of the rebels right away in this case because I don't have the army to defend if they come at me with a full stack which is something the AI does quite often so let's get back to Siguntium <clears throat> we'll add a couple more troops so we're doing good there In the next turn or so, we will come after the Magyar army. Go back to throwing a couple more units in here. That's not right. I was throwing two more Thrall skirmishers in there. Uh, promotions. So nobody could do the high judge yet, just yet. Warlord though can be this gentleman, our faction heir. All right, Hydric, Hydric can go to tribal chief. Uh, I'll do that just because He's not the best guy, he's not the most loyal, but by promoting him, hopefully I can get some more loyalty out of the guy. Alright, judge. No one here can be judge. No one could actually be judge. Alright, elder. Steinar, you kind sir can be an elder. Oh, you're just 16. No wonder you can't really do very much. Algit can be a champion, and hopefully by doing that, his loyalty will increase. Alright, so I think that's it for promotions. We'll go ahead and end the turn. Wondering if the Franks are coming after my homeland or what are they doing? If that faction leader comes too close to my province, I might just send my troops out in transports and take them down. Alright, the Abdani army is fortifying there. They just lost their faction chief, so they're probably a little bit concerned. I think the Maurians are one of the African tribes, if I'm not mistaken. It'd be cool if they started moving up north to Spain. Wouldn't mind running into them and seeing what kind of units they have and all of that. Alright, political obstruction. Alright, so Algit does not have enough influence to get his own promotion, but this is a good thing. So our faction leader had a ton of influence, 
if we decree for Algit, we may get more loyalty from him. And again, he has enough. We'll go ahead and decree the promotion. And hopefully that, that my friends, will get us a lot of loyalty from these guys so that they won't rebel on me. All right. I think that's a big enough army. Perhaps. I have no cavalry, which is going to suck. Let's actually just come up behind him. See if he'll attack me. That way... That way, he'll be put at the disadvantage. Please don't bother with meaningless pleasantry. Yeah, I was gonna see if we could do a non-aggression with him. I'd rather not have another arm uh, faction after me. So we'll have to fight him though. All right, I think we can start repairing buildings in Camilla Dunham. Holy cow. To fix these is a fortune. I'm actually going to upgrade to the dikes here, which will give us plus four sanitation for that province, but also plus three sanitation to all regions in this province. So that would be freaking fantastic. I don't want to repair Crinium right now. Uh, mainly because of the Abdani army there. I'll hold off building up that army any longer. Saguntium. Still that whole immigrant factor is really weighing on my... On my public order there. Alright, so we'll go ahead and end the turn and see what that does for us. Maybe the Magyars will move on. Maybe they'll attack me, which is, would be a mistake in their part. Alright, so the Franks moved into Camelodunum, which sucks because I just spent money trying to repair those buildings. Hopefully I get it back. I don't know if I will. Yeah, so the Franks took Camilla Dunham. That's fine. I'll eventually push them back. Samarians who own the province right below mine at Olisopo. Alright. So Steinhar, we got more devotion for. Cool beans. Unfortunately, I didn't get it from Algit, that freaking jerk. I got your promotion, man. You should be happy. Alright, so how's the diplomacy with the Franks and everyone else? So that war with me. They're defensive allies with the Jukes. Alright, do you guys want to call a ceasefire? Time is better spent feasting and hunt. Alright. So sure. 
We've almost been pushed off the British Isles, guys. We have basically Siguntium, Londinium, and Cranium's probably going to get sacked by, uh, you know, these Marcomans or somebody else. Because I don't want to move away from London because that Frank army will just move right in. I don't know if they're trying to come after my faction capital. If they are, that's kind of weird. Alright. 138 food. I think I can go ahead and upgrade to the small city at our capital. We'll go ahead and move this army back to Burakara and see what the Magyars do. Go ahead and end the turn. Sorry, a lot of turn ending here. I'm just trying to get set up and be a little more safer, be safer than I've been because that's kind of bitten me in the butt by acting too hastily. Looks like quite a few factions are trying to make uh, the English, uh, the British Isles their homes. The Rugians look like they might be going after the Picts up there as well. So we have Franks, we have all three Viking factions, Picts. Okay, we're going to have another Rebellion. That's fine, man. Magyars moved on. Figured they couldn't do very much more. I'm going to be pissing off the Franks because they're, they've they been pissing me off. We're going to come over here to Camelodunum. Take that back. How is it that they get a freaking garrison full right away? Alright, we'll fight it on the battlefield. We'll take this back from them. They've been a thorn in my side. I will be a thorn in their side. I hate attacking this kind of fortress, so hopefully they don't just uh, block off up here like I normally do to them. Alright, perfect time to attack. It's dry. It's a beautiful winter day, though. We should just ask if they want to call off the fight and, you know, just make some snow angels. Alright, so. Okay, the reason I'm attacking from here is if you see here, there's no towers to shoot on us. There's one over there, but there's none right here, so that's where we're gonna enter the fortress at. We'll lead with our skirmishers, as always, or with our hurlers. I'll put the skirmishers right here, but we're gonna turn them off fire at will. And we'll use these guys for the perfect moment to take somebody out. We'll put Berserkers on either side. And our General Cancer will bring up the rear. Little remains of their city now. What is this? Hmm, interesting. Alright, that was kind of weird. Let's start the battle, my friends. Let's move up. Flash forward, waiting for the typical, typical yellow charge from the enemy cavalry, and there they are. Yeah, fast forward, fast forward.
Alright, let's move you guys to the side here. Alright, so the cab are actually already gone just by the sheer fire from my hurlers. And they're actually wrecking everyone else. So we'll pretend we're one of these guys. I would freaking run away if I saw that much fire coming at me and everyone around me just dying. We'll pretend we're an archer. Uh, these guys aren't taking too much fire. It's all these spear masters. Boom! There goes another guy. There goes another. Rock straight to the temple. Alright, well, we're not really having to fight this because we're pretty much just devastating them with our fire. You know what? Let's try something here. I want to see what the fire looks like from the skirmishers added to the fire from the herders. It's kind of hard to tell because they're shooting through the forest. That was a devastating stating shot from my skirmishers there. Let's go ahead and chase these guys down. Shoot them in the back. Oof. I just leveled out that entire line. Alright, and then that should probably be it. What? There's more units. Alright. We'll just use our skirmishers to wipe everybody up. Alright. There's their own brigands unit there. We'll see who can be more devastating. They're actually YOLO charging me. Alright, let's just bring in a Berserker unit to wipe them out. Looks like victory for my guys. Oh, axe to the back right there. Some of the men have gone berserk. Uh oh, they went berserk. There's still an entire unit somewhere. All right, y'all can come over here. We'll look for the other unit. Waiting for these guys to come back from berserking so I can actually move them. Go ahead and fast forward. Alright, these berserkers are back in our control. I'm assuming there's a general or something up here. Yes, there the there the guy is.
stay back, stay back. I kind of want the berserkers to get at the general there. Should easily wreck them. Should just go ahead and walk. You can come up here as well, but just walk. Alright. You gentlemen. You are about to die. What do you have to say for yourself? You do have some pretty cool mustaches. But that will not save you. Do 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 do. You're fresh. Okay, start running. Okay. And... Okay, hold on. Let's get back in regular mode. Let's turn this off. I want to see the devastation they cause. That guy got thrown over the back of another. Are right, you? I'll come back for you. Ooh, got a punch to the face. See you right back, man. Two on one, you can do it. Oh, I gotta move back. Alright. Let's get back in the action. Reinforcements are coming. Yeah, they're going to route any second now. The Odomar, the governor, is going to be wrecked. That's it, fellas. Decisive victory. They are dead. By Viking Berserker, 181 kills. Not bad, my friend. The Hurlers are actually probably the MVP. They destroyed quite a few units before I even realized what they were doing. Halter, kind sir. You've done a good job. Boom! Camelodunum is mine yet again. Alright, so... We have a few options. We can sack them, take their money. We can raise the settlement. Do 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 do. Let's just sack it. Why not? We need to sack anyways for our stuff to improve. I think that's some of our victory conditions. We are Vikings. We do sack a lot. All right, so we'll give them level two warden of the tree, warden of the tribe, which gives plus four integrity. Carinium, we should probably go ahead and repair everything. Uh, new technology, so cool beans. We now have plus two sanitation for all regions. Ooh, that is, what is that? Ten thousand dollars. 
Yada, yada, yada. Wealth, blah, blah, blah. Let's go back to military. This enables the building of a steel forge and sparring fields. Or we could go after foreign siege methods, which enables the construction of medium siege engines and plus holdout time. I think we'll go with that one because that that just looks good to me. So we'll definitely do that one. All right. I think that might be the end of the turn, guys and gals. So I want to say I appreciate you guys taking a gander at my videos, and I will catch you all next time.